live. For those of you that are new here, my name is Alan Roberts. I'm also known as the Angry Bald Man. I'm also known as that motherfucker. I'm also known as Every Damn Day Fitness. I'm also known as uh, Cuddly Bunny by my wife. I'm also known as a couple other things too. But how the fuck are we doing today? Today, we got three videos at least. I'm probably going to do a fourth. The fourth one's probably going to be a little bit more edgy for YouTube. So it might not stay up, but you can watch it live. I'm going to be talking about uh, Joe Rogan and his recent guests where they're talking about the pharmaceutical industry and um, how evil they are. But today, first and foremost, we're going to talk about Fat Girl Flo being upset with reality. This was sent to me. We're going to look at, we're going to watch her, um, we're going to watch uh, her rant, basically. Um, it's kind of funny to me. But she is pissed off that somebody is losing weight. And she claims she's not pissed off about how that they're losing weight. She claims to be pissed off with things they've said while losing weight and the things that they've said are ableist. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, preface this by saying, if you've gluttoned yourself to immobility or to difficulty, you don't get to fucking claim ableism when other people point out shit because very frankly you are not disabled you have eaten yourself to disability you would not normally be disabled you're just fucking fat you don't get to actually co-opt ableism for people that can't walk for people that are born with birth defects or get in accidents or have very serious illness you don't get to co-opt this because you can't say no to fucking pie you don't get to claim ableism when you are responsible for the fucking shit that is the problem. When you do this to yourself, you cannot then claim ableism. And especially because nobody was actually fucking talking to this woman. She just took offense at what this woman said. Um, I have covered Fat Girl Flow before. Carissa, um, she's a loon bag. I mean, like, like I, I don't expect her to have logic and critical thinking. She's like, I'm going to let you just watch her. She comes across as she is fucking crazy. Um, I will point out that this is <clears throat> right here is the young lady that she's very upset about. This lady, Rosie Bean, um, has decided to lose weight. And I believe she's even on... Mongiorno, I'm not sure, um, but she made a statement that um, one of the reasons why she lost weight <clears throat> was because she couldn't wipe her own ass. Because reality exists. Like we, if we see that your arms are this long and your body is this wide, we see you can't reach your ass. We see it. Like we have eyes, bitches. We're not stupid. Um, but this is Rosie Beam. Everybody go go uh, wish her wish her uh, the best, even though she's a pronoun crazy. Um, and I'm just going to refer to them as pronoun crazy from now on because uh, you look like a woman. I'm going to call you she, her. You don't need to fucking dictate it. I'm not going to fucking go out of my way to appease that shit. Anyway. <sighs> anyway, here we go. And by the way. These were just, we're using these up. They were in the refrigerator. <clears throat> this, we are about to watch Fat Girl Flow. I, just, I can't even believe she fucking went off. Like, I mean, it's she's, the thing is, since I booked this video, she's still going off. Like, she's adding to this, which is, I find kind of funny because, you know, her whole premise is based off of somebody is, this person is being ableist by saying that she wanted to lose weight because she couldn't wipe her own ass. I will preface one more time for those of you that joined a couple minutes late. Fat people don't get to claim ableism because you have done it to yourself and do it to yourself every fucking day. You don't get to co-opt ableism like you've co-opted racism, like you've co-opted uh, feminism, like you've co-opted all these things just because... You don't like being told you're fat as fuck and it's not attractive. This crazy, just just maybe, maybe you know, 
as a fucking aside, maybe one of the reasons why people find shit like this so unattractive is because the crazy is connected to it. Just saying. Uh, you know, just, just, say, just saying. Um, so we're about to, we're about to watch the, I, I'm telling you, like, I, she just comes off so fucking crazy. So this is her story. And we shall let it go. The real tea is that nobody likes a pick me. It's 2024. The real tea is that nobody likes a pick me. You don't need it. You don't need it in your life. The ableism, the fat phobia. So I wish I could pause that. I, I don't know why I can't pause it right now, actually, to tell you the truth. Oh, wait, here we go. The real tea is... So if you read down here, this is from that rosy bean lady uh, down at the bottom. And it is saying, full transparency, I have zero remorse or shame for being public about my weight loss. Two years ago, I couldn't wipe my own ass. That's the tea. And this fucking woman, uh, Fat Girl Flo, is about to lose her shit because she said something that was true about herself. Like, she's about to lose her shit about this woman who said something true about herself. Like, tell me you can't wipe your own ass without telling me you can't wipe your own ass, Fat Girl Flo. Come on, Karina. I mean, the, the, this this is so very seriously, uh, like, telling that, like, you have trouble wiping your own ass because you're so offended by this. Is that nobody likes a pick me. How is she trying to be a pick me? I don't even understand this. How is she trying to be a pick me? Look at that. Look, first of all, look at look at her face. Look at Karina. The real tea is that nobody likes a. The real tea is that nobody likes a pick me. Look at her face. First of all, and I, I mean, ignore the horrible skin. Um, and just like, look at the smug look on her face. So you think that anybody that loses weight is a pick me? They're picking themselves. You realize that, you dumb fucking idiot. Like they're picking themselves. They're picking themselves over food. That's it. Like they're picking themselves over food. They're picking life over food. Crazy shit. You don't need it. You don't need it in your life. The able And she sounds a little drunk too, by the way. Um, fat phobia is tired okay there's there's no such thing as fat phobia and you claiming ableism from this woman claiming that she couldn't wipe her own ass you're so here's my thing if you cannot wipe your own ass because you are physically actually disabled via accident birth defect illness something like that you know that is understandable if you can't wipe your own ass because you're fucking fat, that's not, people pointing that out is not ableism. People pointing that out is reality. I mean, it's so ridiculous to try to co-opt other people's plight. And that's all this movement has ever done. They co-opted racism because nobody gave a fuck when there was a bunch of fucking women bitching about being called fat and not being found attractive by males. When they realized that they could whine all the fuck they wanted and nobody would give a fuck, they had to co-op something. They had to make it so it was a phobia. Like there was something wrong with you if you didn't like fat people. So they had to make up that word. And when that still didn't work, they had to say that fat phobia is connected to racism because nobody wants to be seen as a racist. So even though that it's, you know, the fat acceptance movement is literally predominantly probably 80 to 90 percent white women. They had to say that calling them fat is also racist. That's the only reason, that's the only way that they can actually silence anybody. When you try to have a conversation with these people, they don't want to fucking converse. They don't want to hear your fucking reality and your stats and your statistics. They literally just want to be able to be like, you're a racist, you're an ableist, you're a fat foe. I, oh my God, it's so horrible. Me telling you that not being able to wipe your own ass because you're so fucking fat is a you problem and is not ableism to point it out and that you should fix that shit, that is not a problem with me. That is a problem with you knowing it's fucking true and being viscerally upset because you know it's fucking true. 
so many ways to make jokes, to be funny, to... She doesn't seem like she's making a joke. She's just saying reality. Two years ago, she couldn't wipe her own ass. That was her telltale sign. Like, hey, maybe I might need to fix my shit, seeing as how I can't wipe my own ass. To do so many interesting things online and being just a piece of shit. So, isn't it? So literally, literally, this woman did not say anything to you. You're saying that she's being a piece of shit. Meanwhile, you go on for fucking quite a bit here about how she's a pick me and a piece of shit and all sorts of stuff. Like she's trying to get healthier for herself. Like she didn't say nothing about you at all. But here you are pissed because she didn't speak about you. But I believe it's true about you. I don't think that this woman, I don't think that she can wipe her own ass. I, I just, I'm, I don't think that girl Flo can wipe her own ass. Why would she be so fucking upset about this? Either her or maybe her girlfriend cannot wipe their own ass. Otherwise, why be so pissed about this? Why, you know, why take ableism, you know, from this actually disabled people? You fucking loser. It's 2024. Ableism isn't cute. Punching down. Ableism is not something you should be judging other people of having. Because you are not fucking disabled. You, you, you are not disabled. Like saying losing weight so you can fucking wipe your own ass, that is not ableism. That's reality. That's good fucking advice. Down isn't cute. <sighs> you shouldn't be ashamed for losing weight. Of course you shouldn't be ashamed for losing weight. Do whatever the fuck you want with your body. You should be ashamed because you're an ableist. How? 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 And she's obviously speaking directly to this woman. Like, she's totally fucking unhinged, having a one-sided argument with somebody that didn't even retort back. Like, she's literally fucking unhinged. Because fat makes you crazy also. So now, Fat Girl Flo is both crazy and can't wipe her own ass. We're just going to keep adding them up, you know? Don't be ableist. <clears throat> Don't be able. Don't co-op ableism. Less. Don't co-op ableism. Okay, this is, don't message me and ask me why I couldn't stay in my lane on this one. When influencers say shit to the community that they make money off of, that is cruel and harmful. I will always say something. How is it cruel and harmful for this woman to say she's losing weight because she couldn't wipe her own ass? How is it cruel to anybody and harmful to anybody? If you find words cruel and harmful to the point where you lose your shit, you can either ignore them or just fucking deal. Because I don't understand, like, what the fuck are you getting out of this? And she, I got to be real, like, this woman was not in any way insulting anybody. She was stating something about herself. Uh, if you you are not truly in community with other fat people, you can't possibly know the shame and sadness that we work so hard in supporting one another to overcome. If you just focus that work on not being fat, how much better would it be? Like, you know, uh, being fat is actually, and I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, this is going to be crazy because people don't like hearing this. So I know, but, and I'll even... Bring, I'll even uh, bring myself up a little bit so everybody can understand. I know this is a little crazy. I know people don't like to hear it. I know people don't want to think about it. But reality, being fat is, in fact, something you should be ashamed of. Being so fat you can't wipe your ass, you absolutely should be ashamed of that shit. You absolutely should be like, wow, I have fucked myself up. Um, I can't even wipe my own asshole. Um, you should be ashamed of that shit. Uh, uh, I, I definitely think that you should actually kind of maybe ponder the idea that you should be truly ashamed for not being able to wipe your own ass because you're so fucking fat. Uh, she goes on to say, uh, and then someone comes along and says something that just, ooh, it sucks, it's mean, and, it's, and, and mean girls are out. Who, you're the one being the mean girl here. Mean girls are out in 2024. You're being the mean girl. This girl didn't do shit to you. You're the one co-opting ableism. 
They didn't do shit to you. You're actually trying to lessen their plight because you like fucking pie and don't want to hear how fat you are. Like, that's fucked up. That's super fucked up. Okay, this is also the ins and outs for plus size influencers because she's going to dictate what plus size influencers are allowed and not allowed to say. <clears throat> so the ins and outs for plus size influencers in 2024 out making people who follow our accounts feel bad about themselves. They should likely, uh, if you're morbidly obese, you should not feel good about that shit. Mean girl energy. Well, you know, we've already established months ago that since I'm loud, I shout a lot, I'm angry <clears throat> and I have a lot to say that I'm a black woman, uh, because you guys co-opted fucking racism too. Um, <clears throat> but uh, pretending you don't understand that your contributions have impact. You mean like trying to be horrible to a person for stating something about themselves? Like you're like, this is your now fourth fucking story about this woman because she said she couldn't wipe her own ass. The in supportive community spaces and align the ways we make money with our values. Oh, oh, align the way you make money with your values. Okay. Are you serious? Uh, how do, what does that even look like in today's world? I don't even know. This is the uh, this is an actual article that she posted on her fucking website because she got so upset about this. I don't think she wrote this, but I but I I do think that um, uh, but I know it's on her website. Have you seen a, so, uh, a social media post that's punching you right in the gut? That would be a big post for how big some of your guts are. Another body positive influencer turned anti-fat mean girl is out here serving lukewarm takes in the new year. I'm not shocked. This is happening with frequency now. I think it's because we're all aging in our 30s because being fat in your 30s is painful, right? Um, uh, just, just to be very fucking clear, um, losing weight does not make her a mean girl. Her talking about how she couldn't wipe her own ass does not make her a mean girl to anybody else. Like you people. So all language needs to be fucking accommodating to you. You need to have everything that's said around you to be tailored so you don't get some sort of fucking fifis. Fucking pathetic bitches you are. You really are. Um, this is taking care of your plus size body hygiene tips from the woman whose skin looks so fucking healthy right um i can't even believe she's gonna put this i have had several this. people message me and okay ask ask yourself if you would have been kinder to your body if you were met with cu uh, curiosity and problem solving p.s occupational therapy is an entire career around the idea of making our daily lives accessible. It's valid. And you know what they tell you in occupational therapy when you're fucking 350 pounds? To lose weight. To lose weight. Occupational therapy is not meant for fat people. Occupational therapy is meant for people with injuries, shit like that. Don't get me wrong. Many very obese people need physical therapy and occupational therapy because you fucked yourself up. Because you through your daily systemic chronic actions, gluttoned yourself to immobility. That's why you need it. You did it to yourself. It is your fault. You should be ashamed. You absolutely should be. And she's just going to keep going on. I've had several people message me saying. Say something along the lines of like, oh, when I couldn't wipe, that was when I started getting really serious about weight loss. Okay. I mean... It's sad that it has to get to that point, but when multiple people message you that when you couldn't wipe, it's why you got serious about weight loss, it's sad it has to get to that point. But obviously, there's many other people that feel the same way that that woman does because, I don't know, reality has struck to them that they can't wipe their own ass? I mean, this should not be an argument. This is should not be something we have to fucking even have a discussion about. I... Have no comment on you losing weight because you weren't yelling. I couldn't wipe my ass to anyone, right? She wasn't yelling. She posted it just like you're posting shit. So this woman's not supposed to say something on her social media platform that upsets you because you can't wipe your own ass. I mean, it's it, you've gone on and on and on and on and on about this. 
You, it's because you can't wipe your own ass. Like we know this, you know. Um, I want to ask though, if you had told a friend that, and you said I have to lose weight because I can't wipe my ass, and your friend had earnestly looked at you and said, "So why do you have to lose weight?" What is so if you look at your friend and tell your friend, I can't wipe my own ass, so I got to lose weight. And then your friend says, why do you need to lose weight? Fucking like physics, like actual fucking reality, like the girth. I mean, what the fuck? You know, there are other options to help you with that. And there are stretches you can do to make that easier on you. What would have been different there? Like, what have we been taught what would have been different there is if you, first of all, it's stretches that will help you get there. If depending on your size, for some people, it's just not, a, it's not physically, it's not physically attainable. It's not capable. But secondly, why wouldn't you just lose weight? Because losing weight is better for you in so many other ways. You see what I'm saying? Like fucking cray cray, right? And what can we put into the world so that it's different? We can put into the world that being fat is bad for you. Lose fucking weight. If you have eaten yourself to the point where you have a hard time wiping your own ass, you should be ashamed. Fix that shit. What now? Okay. That's the end of it. Whoop. That's the next, next one we're going to do. All right. I can't even believe I had to make that video. I really can't. I can't even believe I had to make that video. I'm a little out of focus. Um, that's some crazy shit. Let me get myself back in focus here if I can. There it is. Good. That's some crazy shit. I, I mean, I don't even know how to fucking approach that shit. Uh, <clears throat> this is uh, my wake up call. Was the event that caused my wake up call was the events that caused that. Good, 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 good. Frankly, doing a uh, filter flower, this woman using flour as Tammy's slatten def uh, defense filters, but getting too much gluttony. I'm not sure what, what we're talking about here. That's not a real friend. Your friend should encourage your goals and be supportive and, and positive changes. Tina, I completely agree. Not only that, but very realistically, if you tell a friend, I need to lose weight, that friend should help you and support you because it is what's healthier for you unless you're already too thin. No shit. I mean, what reality exists. Well, uh, what about not being able to breathe when you bend over? I mean, that's the, there's so much. There's just so much involved in it. It's so stupid. Um, as a black person, thank you for having common sense. It's so annoying when these privileged white girls uh, try to talk as if as if they're a minority. It's disgusting how the fat acceptance movement has co-opted racism. It, it's I mean, it's disgusting to me. First of all, it's racist in its inception. It's racist. To say that fat phobia is born in racism, it implies that all fat people are fat. It implies that all black black women are fat. I mean, it's so racist in of itself. It's so racist in of itself, you know? And people not wanting to be fat is based in nature and reality. But I hear you. And thank you very much for your for your comment. Alcoholic, I can't drink anymore because I can't take care of my kids. Have you tried hiring a babysitter? That's exactly the fucking energy she just gave. That's exactly the energy. Exactly. Imagine swimming in a pool with someone like her literal, uh, literal poo in the water. Well, they can't wipe themselves. I mean, it's, it's really very, very true. Alan looks great. Wonder how he gets his arms to have such definition. I mean, thank you. I appreciate it. They don't, they're not even at the find right now. I'm not even at lean yet. But uh, and I, I, you know, I do a lot of TRX work and dumbbell work every day. You know, I, a lot, a lot. And I eat right. You know. Speaking of that, for those of you that want to join our app, before I move on to the other one, we are Crystal and I are in day two of eating nothing but beans, rice, and uh, meat. And, and red red meat. Um, I didn't have any rice yesterday. I don't even know if I'll have some today, but I'm just, we're just going to do ground beef and beans at the end of the day. I'm just doing it a little different flavor profile. Here is where you can join our app, or you can get three months, six months, or one year worth of coaching. Um, but we are we are fucking killing it. I feel great today, actually. Uh, great, great, great. Um, 
if they think words hurt, wait till they feel the pain of their wrecked joints. Oh yeah, I mean that's the thing. They're all going. All of these people are going to all, like have their epiphany moment. They'll just either disappear or they'll do the whole epiphany moment. You know. Having Cajun bean sausage and rice today. Ooh, that sounds good. All right, guys, listen up. Any last questions before I switch on to the next one, before I switch on to the next video? Because the next video, I don't even know which, which one it's going to be. The next video is going to be a review of the number one cause of disease and weight gain. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be pretty interesting. Um, I'll give you guys a hint. It's the food. So I checked out behind uh, behind a morbidly obese person at the grocery store the other day. The healthiest thing in the cart was an onion. I mean, it's it's very, 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 very prevalent. Uh, very prevalent. Give me a second. Let me check something out. All right. Boom, boom. All right. Any last questions till we switch over? Love to new three into three different lives. We might even have a fourth today. I might even do a fourth one, like I said. So uh, I work at a grocery store. It was no secret why obese people were obese. Yeah. I mean, no shit. If you work at a grocery store, you fucking know. If you know, you know. All right. I am going to, I'll be gone for about five minutes. Be back. See you in a couple minutes. Goddamn.